Good morning. It is Sunday morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Come Up High Ministries. Robin Smiley here with our Talk to Me Jesus devotional. So excited that you guys have joined us this morning. Welcome on Facebook. Welcome on Periscope. We are here. We are excited. Hey, good morning, Yvette. Welcome to the Sunday edition, right? We call this the School of the Word. And we're excited to just share what God has to say briefly before you guys join your um, local services online. So just come on in. Hey, Jojo, good morning. I'm going to take a quick moment to get the video shared as well. And then we will jump right in so we can see what God has to say to us today. Amen. So excited about being able to share with you guys each and every morning. It's just always a blessing to see what God has to say to us. So real quick, let me just get to where I need to be. And we will be on our way. All right. All right, guys. So good morning again. Welcome. Let's just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your holy name, God. We just magnify you. We extol you, God. We lift you up for truly there is none like you in all the earth. We are just excited. We are filled with joy on this Sunday morning. We thank you, Father, for this first Sunday in June. We thank you, Lord God, that we can just experience you in a new and fresh way on today. So it was always, God, we ask that you send the teacher the Holy Spirit, the one who will transform our minds and, and, and our lives on today, the ones who will lead and guide us into all truth. We thank you for this day, our daily bread. We come as the, as the baby birds with our mouths wide open, ready for you to fill them, God, with your word and with your revelation, your insight and your wisdom. So we thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey, good morning, Miss Kathy. So we are here, guys. Today, our subject is, it's time to leap. It's time to leap. So let's look at the devotional and see what it has to say to us today. God says, or the devotional says, it's time to move on. I have opened new doors for you. I'm pouring out new opportunities and new avenues of possibility in order to unleash the well of creative expression inside you. Circumstances have kept you hidden behind a wall of choices that seemed to be right at the time. But now that wall is crumbling down, setting you free, and the way ahead is a spectacular spiritual breakthrough. Today, take that giant step towards your radiant, tomorrow. Now you see why he gave me it's time to leap. God says it's time to leap. It's time to move. It's, he's got something greater. He's got something better. He says it's time to move on. Just stop staying where you are. Stop trying to figure it out. Stop pondering over why this didn't happen or why this did happen. He said it's time to move on. He says, I've opened new doors for you. Stop pulling on those doors that you want to open, right? That didn't open. He says, stop tugging on them. He says, because I've opened new doors for you. I'm pouring out new opportunities and new avenues of possibility in order to unleash the well of creative expression inside of you. All of us have a creative expression inside of us. Why? Because we are created in the image of God himself, the ultimate creative. So we too then have the creative ability down on the inside of us. Hey, good morning, Jay, and good morning, Catherine. And God is saying to us that he's pouring out new opportunities. We had some opportunities in the past, right? Either we seized them or we didn't. But nevertheless, he says, I have new new opportunities, right? The book of Isaiah, I think it's 43, talks about when God says, I am doing a new thing. Can you not see it, right? 
And he's telling us today in the devotional, he says, I'm pouring out new opportunities and new avenues of possibility in order to unleash the well of creative expression inside you. Hey, good morning, Miss Deborah. He says, circumstances have kept you hidden behind a wall of choices that seem to be right at the time. I can truly attest that I have made some choices that I thought were right at the time and you know, later found out they were not the best choice. He says, circumstances have kept you hidden behind a wall of choices that seemed to be right at the time. But now that wall is crumbling down. And what he's saying is don't get caught up in the fact that maybe you did make a wrong decision. Maybe you didn't make the right choice. You thought it was right and you moved on what you thought was right. He says, no worries. That wall is, come, trumble, is crumbling down, right? And when it's crumbling down, it's releasing you, it's setting you free. And the way ahead is a spectacular spiritual breakthrough. I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy whenever, <coughs> excuse me, God allows me to have a breakthrough and not, not just a breakthrough, but a spiritual breakthrough, right? Remember, he's been speaking to us about how he's, he wants to take us higher. He wants us to come up higher in him. There's a spiritual breakthrough that he has for us. There's a spiritual breakthrough and a breaking out and a breaking forth, right? And he says, I I have new opportunities for you. I'm opening new doors for you. I, there's some creative expressions down on the inside of you that it's time for them to be released. Hey, good morning, Reverend Stephanie. And he says, I need you to move on. I need you to take that giant leap. He says, today, take that giant step toward your radiant tomorrow. He says, don't allow fear to keep you from taking that step because you think, you know, I made a bad choice before. Maybe this won't work out either. He says, no, take the leap of faith. Take that giant step because your tomorrow is not dismal. Your tomorrow is not gloomy, but your tomorrow is radiant, right? Right? Earlier in the week, we talked about our future and God is saying your future is bright. It is radiant, but I just need you to take that step. I need you to take that leap into it and so that you can experience what I have for you. Amen. Hey, good morning, Lakeisha. So let's look at our scriptures for today so we can... Uh, move on so you guys can get to your services. Our first one comes from Psalms 34 and verse 21. And it says, evil shall slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. Now, when I first was preparing and putting the scriptures, you know, in the, in the app so we could see them online, I was like, what does this have to do with us taking a leap? But it has everything to do with it because sometimes we won't move on what God tells us to do because we are afraid of what people might say, or we remember how people responded or reacted previously. So it will keep us um, in that same position. But God says, evil shall slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. So in other words, don't worry about those folks that aren't following you. Don't worry about those folks that don't believe in the dream and the vision God has for you. He says, I'm going to take care of them. I just need you today to take the giant step into your radiant tomorrow. Amen. And then our next scripture comes from Psalm 68 and 19. And it says, blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits the God of our salvation, Selah, which means to pause. God is reminding us that as we tap into the creative expressions that he has deposited on the inside of us, he's loading us daily with benefits. He's loading us daily with good things. And we don't have to be afraid to take that next step. We can go forth knowing that we, we have new benefits each and every morning, right? He says, your mercies are new every morning. So he's saying, don't be concerned about not going into that radiant tomorrow, into your radiant future, because I have even greater benefits there for you. He says, stop tugging on those doors that have not opened. I have new doors that are open to you. I have new opportunities waiting for you, right? New benefits. With new opportunities come new benefits. And so just think about it, even on, on your jobs, right? When you get a promotion, when there's a new opportunity, there's, there's new benefits that that can come along with it, right? You might get an office instead of sitting in the queue, right? You might um, be able to get the desired um, working hours instead of being mandated to work a certain number of hours, right? 
Whenever there's a promotion, whenever there's a new opportunity, it also comes with new benefits. And the same, it's the same way with God in the realm of the spirit. There's a spiritual breakthrough that is happening every time we come into a new level of God. And he's saying, I, I need you to just take that leap, to take that step of faith and come with me. Amen. Psalm 73 and 28, the scripture says, but it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all your works. Wow. Us taking this step is saying what? That we trust God. When we are willing to take a leap, when we are willing to take that giant step of faith into our radiant tomorrow, it is saying that we trust God. It is drawing us closer to God, right? It says it's good for me to draw near to God. It's not bad. It's good. If you're going to draw near to anybody, it should be to the father himself, right? It says it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God. Why? That I may declare all your works. The creative expressions that God has placed on the inside of us is for us to declare the good works of God. Everything that God has deposited in us, right? We talked about the gifts yesterday, every good and perfect gift that God has given us is what? It's not irrevocable. It can't be rescinded, right? And God is reminding us even on today that those gifts, the, the, the creative expressions that he's deposited on the inside of us or to declare his works and his glory. What have you been allowing um, to be hidden? What is that that expression that is on the inside of you, that creative expression? Is it song? Is it writing? Um, is it is it poetry? What What's on the inside of you that God wants, wants to birth out and cause to break forth? He says, today it, it's there and I'm ready for you to take that giant leap. Amen. And so our next scripture comes from Lamentations 3, 22 through 24, the New King James Version. And it says, Though the Lord's mercies, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because of his compassions fail, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning, right? We just talked about his mercies being new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saying my soul, therefore I hope in him. God is reminding us as we take this leap, as we take this step of this giant step into our radiant tomorrow, that all we have to do is keep our hope in him, right? All we have to do is trust him and to say, you know, Lord God, your mercies are new every morning. I thank you for your mercies. My hope is in you. Let's do this thing. I'm ready to come up higher in you, right? He, he's saying, I need you to trust me. I need you to walk by faith so that we can do this thing together. Amen. And so our next scripture is Deuteronomy 30 and verse 8. And it says, and you will again obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments, which I command you today. What is this saying to us? First of all, I, I, I like how it says, and you will again, excuse me, you will again obey the voice of the Lord. Meaning there's been a time where you obey the voice, right? Even sometimes those choices that we made, <clears throat> We were making them out of obedience to God. But now he's saying those doors have closed. Those opportunities are over. It's time to move on. He's saying even and you will again obey the voice of the Lord. So he needs us to what? To walk in obedience. We, we can't walk in obedience if we aren't trusting him. Right. So that's why we had the previous scripture about trusting God. And now we will walk in obedience to his voice and do his commandments that he commands us today, right? Excuse me. <clears throat> he says, and you will again obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments, which I command you today. <clears throat> Excuse me. What has God commanded you to do today? Maybe even yesterday and you haven't done it. What has he commanded you to do? All right. And so our last scripture for today um, no, not quite the last one. Um, 
we're getting close. So our next scripture comes from 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 and then verse 17 and very common scriptures to us. For we walk by what? We walk by faith, not by sight. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So first of all, we have to remember that we walk by what? We walk by faith, not by sight. We've been talking about this um, for several weeks now as well, that our spiritual sight needs to be be um, the primary form of sight, right? We can't look at things through our natural eye, but we need to look at them through the lens of the spirit. We need to walk by faith. Walking implies movement, right? The very first sentence in our devotional was, it's time to move on. So it's time for us to put our faith into action, to take that leap, to take that giant step, right? Um, Faith is not is not um, evident in just a small step, right? Faith generally is evident when when there's a leap, where there's a giant step. Why? Because with faith, you you can't see it, right? You don't you don't move because of what you see. You move because of what you believe, and that's what God is reminding us that now that we are new creations, that we are new creatures in Him. That and he has made all things new for us and about us that we need to walk by faith. We need to walk by faith and not by sight. Maybe some of those areas in our lives that we think need to be changed haven't completely changed. He said, don't worry about that. The old things have passed away. All things have become new. So there's a becoming. We are becoming right. Even um, when I just saying that word reminded me of um, First Lady Michelle Obama's book, Becoming. There's an evolution evolving that is taking place with us in our walk with God. And that happens when we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. And so our next scripture gives us the prescription on how we do that, how we walk by faith. Acts 1 and 8, it says, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the end of of the earth. <clears throat> we can't walk by faith without the power of the Holy Spirit, right? We've been talking about this as well. We have to tap into the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us, right? The Holy Spirit is right there ready and waiting for us to say, okay, Holy Spirit, let's go. I'm walking by faith. What did God say to you? Tell me what he said so I can make that move. I may not understand it, but I'm going to trust you, Holy Spirit, to do what? To do what you're assigned to do, which is to lead and guide me into all truth. So God is reminding us today that we will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon us. Well, that was right before Jesus went to heaven, right? And he told the 120 disciples who were in the upper room. Now that he's gone, the Holy Spirit doesn't have to come upon us. He is within us. He's with us every single place we go. He's there 24 seven. All we have to do is tap in and stay connected. Amen. And then our next scripture comes from the book of John, verse um, chapter eight and verse 36. And it says, therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Well, I don't know about you, but Jesus has made me free. He died on that cross. He took every form of sin, every form of bondage that, that I could possibly um, be involved with and has made me free. So, so what's important about being made free? We are free now. There is nothing that should hinder us from taking that leap of faith. There is nothing that should hinder us from taking that giant step into our radiant tomorrow because Jesus has paved the way. He has made us free when he died on the cross and took those 39 lashes in his back. He, they put the crown of thorns on his head, being pierced in his side. He was bruised for our iniquities, right? He has set us free. He has made us free. And today God is saying, today is the day that I need you to move on. Today is the day that I need you to move by faith and to trust me. Don't worry about what you see with your natural eye. Walk by faith and not by sight. Remember, you are a new creation. Remember, 
old things have passed away. Your old life no longer di dictates your future, right? Because you are new. We have new opportunities. We have new doors. We have new blessings. We have new benefits. And God is saying, get up off of your duff and let's move on. Let's move forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's see what you guys are saying before we go into prayer. Mr. Tim says, good morning. Glory, glory, glory. Hey, good morning, Reverend Robin. Good morning, Mr. Tim. He says, take the leap. He paved the way, walking by faith, not by sight. Yes, get ready. Great read by my sister Obama. Yes, very good read. Holy Spirit rests, rules, and abides within us as Christians. Exactly. And, and what I've come to realize is that, you know, a lot of believers um, unfortunately, have not been taught about the power of the Holy Spirit, right? He may be mentioned, but but they haven't been taught about the power of the Holy Spirit that resides on the inside of us. And I believe that's why God has us um, talking about him almost every day, because it's not until we understand the role and, and the, of the Holy Spirit that we can truly, fully um effectively walk out this life as a believer, right? Yes, we believe that God is God the Father and we believe Jesus is his son, but there's the Trinity, right? It's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The three work together. The three are one, but they work together, right? They have their own um, responsibilities to fulfill. And the Holy Spirit was who God, who Jesus left for us to fulfill the work that he said we would do, right? He said, greater works will we do in this earth. Well, we can't do those greater works without the power of the Holy Spirit, right? It wasn't until the 120 were endued with power that Peter was able to go forth and speak with boldness. It wasn't until after that, that we see Paul and Paul's um, vision. He lost lost his sight um, for, for three days. And then when the scales came off of his eyes, he moved forth in power, right? It's the power of the Holy Spirit, the work of the Holy Spirit within us that allows us to be effective and, and, and um, affect change in our earth. Amen. Hallelujah. God is saying it's time to move on. Reverend Stephanie says, keep moving by faith and God will manifest himself in our lives. Keep going forward. Yes, we have to press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is where? Which is in Christ Jesus. It's not in us, but it's in Christ Jesus. And when we move by faith, when we press, right, when we keep moving on, we will see a manifestation of God himself in our lives. And even not not only will we see it, but others will, will see the manifestation of who God is, right? Um, let's see, his sister Yvette says, believe, receive, behavior change, the leap. Yes, then the reveal. I like that. Believe, receive, behavior change, which is the leap, then the reveal, right? We there, There's not a great reveal until we take that leap, right? That we have to believe what God says, even in Mark 11 and 24, where it says, when you stand praying, believe, right? Believe God. We have to believe before we even pray, before we even make our petitions known to him. When we believe, then the scripture goes on to say that we will receive whatever it is that we ask for. Why? Because we, we stood praying and believing. So God is reminding us that our faith is important, that we have to walk by faith and not by sight, that we have to believe that he He has a greater uh, purpose for us and a, and, a, and a benefit to wherever it is he's taking us, right? The end of the devotional says today, take that giant step toward your radiant tomorrow. So it also has to do with our mindset. How are we viewing where God is trying to take us? How are we viewing it? Are we viewing it as radiant or are we, you know, still, um, um, bound up with doubt and uncertainty and thinking, ah, oh, this may not work. He says, your tomorrow is radiant. Your future in me, your destiny is radiant. When something is radiant, it is bright. It, it is it is brilliant. And God is saying, that's what I have for you. I want you to walk into this place of brilliance, this place of radiance that I have for you. He says, it's time to move on. It's time to take the leap. Amen. He says, there's a new thing that I'm doing. I need you to leap into it. I need you to just trust me. 
and just take that leap. If anybody's ever ran track, right, and, and you know about um, the long jumpers, right, they leap, you know, they, they sprint a little bit and then they they bounce up and then they take that leap, right, trying to get the furthest jump. That's that's what I'm envisioning um, as I'm teaching this lesson is that we're taking off and we're just jumping up and, and leaping as far as we can go, trusting that we're going to meet the mark, right? Trusting that we're going to um, land where God wants us to land. Amen. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just bless your holy name, God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We thank you, Lord, that, that it is truly in you that we live, move, and have our being. We thank you, God, that as we move and walk by faith, as we take those giant steps, as we take those leaps, God, that you won't even let us fall. You won't even let us trip. As, as, as I see the runners going over the hurdle, as they leap, God, they won't even hit the hurdle, but they'll just e excel and, and leap over each one without any issues, without any um obstacles, Lord God. We thank you that it's the same for us in the realm of the spirit, that as we take that leap, Lord God, we are jumping up over every hurdle. We are jumping up over every obstacle. We are trusting you to, to cause us to move forward and to go into the destiny that you have um, designed and determined for us, God. We thank you, God, that our destiny is not derailed. We decree and declare, oh God, that we will not even derail our destiny by our disobedience, but we will walk in obedience to your word. We will walk in obedience to what you have told us, God, and we will recognize, God, <clears throat> the new opportunities and the new doors that you have for us. We will leap into them, God. We will not go with timidity. <clears throat> but we will go with the boldness and the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. We thank you that there is no door that you have opened that man can shut. We thank you that every opportunity that you have for us, we shall seize it. We shall walk into it in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God for your people that are listening right now or that may listen later today, God. I thank you for um, pricking their hearts even now and, and reminding them that there are some creative expressions on the inside of them that you that they have possibly um, hidden, that they have possibly forgotten about. But today is the day for them to act on it. Today is the day for them to move out on those creative expressions. Today is the day for them to put the pen to the paper, to um, open their mouth and sing the song or, or whatever it is that you would have them to do to take the brush and begin to paint. Lord, I thank you for the creative expressions that are coming forth from your people, Lord God, that will declare your glory, that will declare your works. I thank you that by the power of the Holy Spirit, Yes, we will truly do greater work than were done in the Bible days. I thank you, God, that we will, we too shall see blinded eyes open, that we will see uh, limbs restored, that we will see the lame walking and the, and the deaf, um, the ears open, Lord God, and those who are mute will begin to speak. We thank you, Lord God, that, that um, bodies will be healed in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that timidity is not our portion. Your word says that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So we receive the spirit of power. We receive the spirit of love. We receive the spirit of a sound mind and we move forward by faith in Jesus name. I thank you, Lord God, for the spirit of faith that rests, rules and abides in every home. I release a fresh anointing of the spirit of faith even now, God. Father, where our faith maybe have been wavering, I thank you that that, that is no more our story. I thank you that now we truly walk by faith and not by sight. I thank you, God, that as we stand praying, we believe. And because we believe, we receive. And because we receive, there shall be a manifestation. There shall be a revealing. There shall be a revelation that others will see your goodness and, and your glory as they see our lives. God, I thank you that we will no longer hide our, our, ourselves um, underneath the, 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 the lamp posts, Lord God, but we will stand up bright and that others will see our light and be drawn to your good works. And they will be drawn to you in in the name of Jesus. So Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this Sunday. As always, God, we pray for every Sunday service that will be taking place on today. We pray for the pastors and the leaders, Lord God, that will be bringing forth your word. We pray for those that will be leading in worship, God, 
that you would release a fresh anointing upon them, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, that they would, that those who are being stuck and trying to do things as status quo, that they will accept the new thing that you are doing, even in ministry, God, that you will give them new ways to, to um, deliver your message, Lord God, that it will hit the masses. We thank you that as your word goes forth, Lord God, and penetrates the ears and, and eyes of those that are watching, that each will receive exactly what you would have for them, God. We thank you for souls that will be saved on today. We thank you that the word will go forth with healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. We thank you that the worship, Lord God, will bring about a spirit um, that will lift the spirit of heaviness and, and bring on the garment of praise. We thank you that, that the worship, Lord God, will take your people into your very presence, that we will experience and have divine encounters with you on today in the services that we witness, God. We bless your holy name. And even for those um, states, Lord God, that have opened and may be having services in the actual building. We thank you for the shifting of the atmosphere, even in that building, God, that things will be done differently, that there will be a fresh anointing, even in that building, in the name of Jesus. So Lord, we bless you and we praise you. We thank you for the new things that you are doing in our lives. And we will take that leap. We will take that giant step into our radiant tomorrow. In Jesus name, amen and amen. All right, God bless you all. I'm so excited that you guys have joined us today. As always, we wanna make sure that if someone is listening and doesn't know Jesus, that they have the opportunity to accept him as Lord and Savior. If that is you today, you can repeat after me and say, Lord God, I'm a sinner and I need to be saved. I believe that Jesus is your son, that he died, was buried and is resurrected. Lord Jesus, come into my life as Lord and Savior. And if you said that simple prayer, guess what? You received the greatest gift of all, the gift of salvation, the gift of eternal life. And all you need to do now is find a local church where you can continue to grow. Today is Sunday. There's going to be so many services online that you could watch and, and begin to figure out where it is that God wants to plant you. But if you don't know where to begin, just send me an email to info at robinsmiley.com. And I'll be more than happy to help you find a, a church in your local area. You can also type decision in the comments. And as I go back through the comments, I'll see that and I can reach out to you as well. And lastly, we're here every day, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m., Saturday and Sunday at 730. So you're more than welcome to continue to join us here um, every day of the week with our devotional. Amen. So welcome. If that was you, if you made that decision, we are excited to have you join us in the kingdom of God. And again, don't forget to reach out to me if you need um, some assistance there. Let me just jump on and see if I missed any comments. <clears throat> Amen. Brother Tim, you're so very welcome. God bless you. Thanks for joining. God bless you. Hey, good morning from Texas. All right. Good morning. All right. So God bless you all. Have an awesome Sunday. Don't forget to send your tithes and offerings to your local um, church where you are members. Don't forget, even though we're online, um, we, uh, we still need your financial support. So please continue to support your ministries um, with your tithes and offerings. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Don't forget to share as well. If you haven't shared yet, go ahead and um, share the video, tag your friends so that others can join. Amen. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.